welcome back guys so in this uh, topic we'll try to understand what is aggregation in java so aggregation is also like uh, inheritance but the way we use it is different so when we say inheritance which means it is a, is a relationship right which means all the time your child object need the data of your parent object we'll go for inheritance whereas the aggregations is a has a relationship okay so what happens in case of aggregations if you look at here the aggregations class contains a reference to another class and is said to have ownership of that class this 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 actually this line is very important here this aggregations class contains the reference of another class and is said to have the complete ownership of that class each class referenced is considered to be a part of aggregate class right what does mean by that this you cannot understand without the example okay so in aggregations what happens is uh, you let's say you have one class here just try to understand you have operation class which can find the area of a square, circle and rectangle, right? So basically what you have, you have a three methods in the operations class. Now you have a circle. So when you have a circle class and when you extend operations class, you will acquire all three, a square, circle and rectangle, right? But you don't want that. What you want you want based on your requirement you you want to call the method so here what you are trying to do that is you are creating the reference of operations class that's what i was trying to say that in, in the definitions so we are creating the reference of operations class this class okay here that's what we are writing it here the aggregations class contains a reference to another class is said to have the ownership of that class which means this oper operations reference is the owner of operations class okay now I have to calculate the area there is a method in the circle where I have to calculate the area if I'll supply int area I will make the object of operations class and then uh, I'll call the method square method and I will uh, I mean I will calculate the area of that square okay Similarly, uh, I mean, you, you have a square, you have a circle, you have a rectangle. So ideally, I would have uh, called here circle, but by mistake, I called a square. That's fine. Here, our intention is to understand how this works. So if you look at here, here uh, we are inside the calculate area. We are creating the object of operations class and we are calling the square method, right? Because this circle these operations actually has a method which will calculate the area of the circle okay and then I am creating the object of circle class and I am calling the method called calculate area this will go and it will calculate the area of this uh, of this circle actually okay so that's how aggregations works in aggregations we are not writing it uh, extends operations right so what I mean what advantage will you get it here the advantage what you'll get it here is here uh, your object the moment you would have created this object your object will not carry all the members of your parent class because you are not extending it earlier what was happening earlier it was happening is when a extends B right and b has let's say b has five method so a object when you write a obj is equal to new a all the time this object will carry the all five members right all the time because you are extending it here your object will not carry the member of your operations class it will not right because where your object creation is happening your object creation is ha happening within the method so when you are calling this calculate area then only you are going to use the uh, method of operations class right so that's how the aggregations is different it's a hazard relationship when to use aggregations very important 
questions people will ask you when you should use, use aggregations when you, sh you should use inheritance okay so <clears throat> Code reuse is also the best achieved by aggregations when there is no easy relationship. So let's say when there is no direct relationship, you can go for aggregations like when you don't want all the members of your parent class to be inherited all the time by the object, you can go for aggregation. The second is which is the very important inheritance should be used only if a relationship is a, a relationship is a is maintained throughout the life of object. If your object is created and you want all the member of your parent class, you go for inheritance. Otherwise, aggregations is the best choice. Okay. So you want all the members to be available to your object, you go for inheritance. When you don't want that, go for aggregations. Okay. Understanding the meaningful example of aggregation. So let's say uh, what is the another example of aggregations. Let's say employee has an object of address. Try to understand here each line is very important. Employee has an object of address. Address object contains its own information such as city, state, country, etc. In such a case, employee has address. All right. Here it's not like employee is address. Employee has address. Whereas car, uh, where car is a vehicle. Okay. Understand the relationship here. Car is a vehicle. Okay. Ram is the human being, but employee is address. No, employee has a address, has a relationship. Whereas inheritance are easy relationship. So that's the difference. Okay. Now look at this. Uh, you have address object which will take city, state, and country. So there is a class called address class which will take city, state, and country. Now there is an employee class. So employee class, what employee has? Employee has ID, name and address. Very important point here. It has ID, it has a name, it has address. Three things you have. So when you will create the object of employee class, okay, in employee class what you will do, when you are creating the constructor of employee class, you will pass ID, name and address. What is this address? You are passing the reference of address class, which means this address has city, state and country. All three things. Because employee has address. Employee is address? No. Employee has address. Whereas car is, uh, uh, car is a vehicle. Car has a vehicle. You can never say that. Okay. You, can, you cannot say that Ram, Ram has a human being. No. Ram is a human being. I cannot, I cannot say that, uh, uh, let's say, uh, cow has a animal, no? Cow is an animal. Whereas I can say that employee has address. Okay? So it has a relationship. You should go for aggregations. So here, in this employee constructor, I am passing that the reference of address. Now it is address as what? It has city, state and country. Now let's see that what will happen. So this display method, uh, you know that display method, I generally write to display the data of object. Here I am not overriding the to a string. I don't want to. So I created the object of two address okay address one is this and address two is this so i'm creating the object of address class so address class uh, if you look at here you have a constructor with three argument right so i'm creating the uh, two object of address class here and then i'm creating the object of employee class in the employee class the first object i'm passing address one object in the second, I'm passing address to object and I'm calling that display method e dot display and e2 dot display. So what is this display method will do? Display method will actually uh, call id. It will call id name. It will print id and name. And then from this reference, this address reference, I'm calling that address dot city, address dot state and address dot country. Right. So from where this will get in sliced the moment the moment I will uh, uh, call this actually uh, constructor with the address object, uh, your address class constructor will get executed. This guy will get executed and you will have you will have the data of city, state and country, right? And this uh, address will hold city, state and country. Let me show you through a clip so that you will not have any confusion.
so you can see that you have an employee employee has id name and address so just press control click on address so when you click on that it will take you to this address right it has a constructor uh, with three argument now uh, come back so uh, when you are creating the object of this address so your each object will get created with this data now when you create this uh, employee object right so your this constructor will get executed and in this employee you are passing that address one so what is this address one basically it's object so it will come here and from this object your this address so your this parent class address so this address becomes new of this because this is nothing but new of this right new of this so this address becomes like address uh, address address is called to new of this address that is the reason uh, from this address right because object will have one copy of your uh, data members when you will call city state and country you can get the data so let me just run this run as java applications proceed so you can see that 10 ram test 1 bihar india 20 mohan test 2 bihar india let me show you by running in the debug mode for your understanding put a, a control point here and what i'll do is uh, i'll put one breakpoint here also okay right click debug edge java application yeah so it will wait to the debug points so i'll press f6 okay so it has some issue my debug is not starting let me just so my debug is waiting here uh, press f6 it will go here uh, now uh, employee object is getting created press f6 so it will come and it will wait here now look at the address object so uh, sorry press here mouse so you can see that here test one india and bihar is coming why it is coming because the address one has the data okay because this guy in this address one has the data this has the data for uh, uh, test one bihar and india so when you will call with this reference object reference you can see that here city country and state similarly name also you can see that and idea also you can see that so when you will actually uh, uh, run this program and when you will just place mouse over here now your this address has test one india and bihar for e object so on this object when you will call actually display method okay it will get this data whereas similarly for this object uh, let me show you let's run this got executed now this will go again it will it will wait here because i have a debug point see this has test to india and bihar right so again your this object will have a different data in the memory so it will just place mouse over here it has a test to india and bihar so both the object has different data of these variables that is the reason when you'll call the display method on these variables you'll get the different different output right and that's how aggregations works guys so i think you are clear with uh, when you should use aggregations and when you should use inheritance now we'll start with the next topic in my next video with this i'm closing that aggregations in java thank you guys thank you for watching